Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our um, Woodland Fairy Display Cake. There's the lovely styrofoam cake dummy that I'm using. But here's our bark that we put on yesterday, and it's pretty firm now. And I went above the cake a little bit and just kind of gave some jagged edges. So the second tier will go in here. Actually, I'm going to prop it up a little bit. So it'll be kind of like that. Then I'll have dirt and flowers and mushrooms and all sorts of stuff like that. So I'm going to start painting, but here's the thing. I'm out of brown food color which is why this is tan. So it's being delivered tomorrow. So today we are making do with what we have because I'll do this in layers anyway. So this will be our first step. This is <laughs> just Wilton color and it hardly had anything in it. And so I just filled it with some vodka. This one is sorbet. Yeah, have to have flavored. Any kind is fine. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here that I don't get food color everywhere because, geez, we all know how clumsy I am. Okay, and the super messy lid. Oh, where am I going to put this? This has to go somewhere super safe. There's no safe. Okay, right there. It's already on my hands. That's how I roll. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of vodka in my brown. <laughs> a brown food color there. And I have paper towels. That's always item number one. Paper towels, paper towels, paper towels. Okay, so I'm just going to start out. You really can't go wrong on this. Okay, this is super wet. I don't like that, so I'm going to be a little careful. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Oh, I don't like this brush at all. This tree bark is really set up nice and firm, so it should be perfect for this display cake. And it should, um, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. This bark should last quite a while, so it can be in there as a display. Oh, there we go, okay. Okay, on my monitor it looks green. This is not green. This is definitely brown. Maybe it looks brown for y'all. I hope it does. I'm being a little careful because this is super wet. I don't want splashes and flecks of food color everywhere. I do like the dark stuff getting in all the grooves. So... I'm going to load my brush with a little bit of stuff, and I'm going to hit those spots first when my brush is good and loaded so that the dark brown settles into those deeper areas and gives some dimension like a real tree. I could do this with an airbrush as well. Oh, be still my heart. Look at that, you guys. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. 
Yay. Hi, Upi. Upi just walked in to say hello. Can you say hello, Opie? He's been shy. He's tired. He's got a belly full of chicken. Okay, I'm just going to continue going around this bottom tier. Just doing exactly the same thing over and over. And I'm being sure to hit those crevices with just a little extra of my food color vodka mix so that it it's an extra brown so it gives depth and dimension. And I'm loving it so far. Loving it, especially when the mold's $10. And yes, I will put that in the description. So I'm going to fast forward a bit. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I finished the bottom tier and I'm going to set it aside to dry and I'm going to reach for the second tier that's a little bit smaller and I'm going to just use the exact same process to paint it. Super easy and fast.